Okay, hello dear friends. Let's take a look at this problem, question number 40. Why a f of x equal to x plus 3 over x plus 1 times x square minus 2x minus 1. Right, let me verify it. So, uh, the, the question is to find the derivative of this function. So, we can see no matter how gibberish, how humongous, how complicated it is, it's two factors, time, multiply each other. So, we can use a product rule. So, we can establish that the first part is A, the second part is B. And then we can, we can use the product rule. So uh, f of x equal to A times B, f of x equal to A times B. So f prime of x equal to A prime B plus b prime a, right? So now we need to find a and b. Now let's establish a equal to x plus 3 over x plus 1. Ooh, that is complicated because for this we will need to find um, we will need to find the prime of a. So a prime, and we can use f of x a equal to m over n. So f prime of x a equal to m prime n minus n prime m over n square, right? So m equal to x plus 3. So m prime equal to 1. n equal to x plus 1, so n prime equal to 1. Now we find f the prime of a equal to m prime times n. m prime is 1 times n x plus 1 minus n prime 1 times m x plus 3 over n square. n is x plus 1 square. Now we need to clean it up a little bit. x plus 1 square over x plus 1 minus x minus 3 equal to x plus 1 square and the numerator is negative 2. So this is prime of a prime of a prime of a now we will find b. We find a, use blue pen, a prime a. Now in the new piece of paper we write uh, b prime b. The paper is good enough. Uh, we will use it here. Okay, separate it. B 
equal to x squared minus 2x minus 1. So b prime equal to 2x minus 2. So what is prime? Prime we use red, b prime, and this is b. Now we plug one, two, three, four, these four elements back into our function, back into our prime function, derivative function. And this is a pure uh, arithmetic. So a prime b plus b prime a equal to a prime is negative 2 over x plus 1 square times b. Where is b? b is here. x square minus 2x minus 1 plus b prime is b prime. 2x minus 2 times a, a is here, x plus 1, x plus 3. Right? Now we will do the simple arithmetic. So on the first part, we take out the negative 2, negative 2, because it's in mathematics, the simpler the number, the easier you do it, right? And here we can do, here we can take out a 2, 2 times x plus 1. And this one you will need to find, uh, 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 you will do the calculation, x square, because we take out 1, maybe we can write uh, this way. Uh, I will write slowly x minus 1 times x plus 3. This way we can see clearly. Oh, this is x plus 1 square. How about we make it x plus square? So keep on doing the first part. We will continue to copy it, x squared minus 2x minus 1 plus 2 times x plus 1. We square it. So if we square it, it means we time x plus 1, right? If we time x plus 1, the upper part, the numerator, we need to x plus 1, time x plus 1, right? We time x plus 1. Oh, I found, I know this function, because x minus 1 times x plus 1 equal to x squared minus 1, right? x plus 3. Now it becomes much easier. So, <clears throat> the first part, I will still do this, x square, x plus 1 square, and uh, how about uh, copy it directly, no change, x square minus 2x minus 1 plus positive 2x plus 1 square, now we need to <coughs> time in one at a time. So x cube minus x plus 3x square minus 3. Okay, now we need to clean it up. 2 times x plus 1 square. The denominator is the same and we take out a 2. 
So if we take out a positive tool, this need to change direction. So negative x square plus 2x, because we change, plus 1. And here, plus x cube. <coughs> The second term is plus 3x squared minus x minus 3. Ooh, now we can do 2 times x plus 1 squared from the highest degree x cube and three positive one negative plus two x square positive negative plus x negative positive minus two so this is the function or you can you can write it uh, bring the x in x plus one square two x cube plus four x square plus two x minus four so that is the prime of uh, this function, the derivative of this function. We have to walk such a long way until we reach the final result. I'm not sure I need to see the answer to prove that I'm right. Okay, let me see the answer sheet if I am right. The solution question number 40, 40, the Oh my gosh, I am right. I'm so happy. So this is the joy of solving math problem. I think, um, yeah, it is such a, such a happy feeling that uh, that uh, when you get something right, ah, it's uh, amazing. Thank you very, very, very much. I love you. I really do. Do 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 do.